Hi, Dr. Moore here, Orange County Orthopedic Surgeon. Just wanted to say something about chronic pectoralis major tendon tears. Tears happen with uh, bench press. Almost 90% of them male bench press pop using about the arm and chest wall. Uh, it's a traumatic injury uh, and an MRI gets ordered. Oftentimes the MRI is done at the shoulder, which sometimes misses the pec tendon because the pec tendon is actually a little bit lower than what the typical MRI of the shoulder shows and it's missed. So number one reason why it becomes chronic. Uh, number two is the MRI shows a, a pec tear, uh, but it's, as I just told, you have a muscular type of pec tear that doesn't require or can't be fixed. Not entirely true. That's the second reason why they become chronic. Number three is uh, the MRI is read out as positive, but the, um, the, the reading is partial tear. And so then the, the surgeon will see that and say, you have a partial tear, you're gonna be fine. But the reality is within a few months, uh, the patient will know that they're not fine because they will have a concavity deformity when they go like this and squeeze, they'll see a, a, a major difference between the sides. So that's the third reason is the patient's told you're gonna to be fine, but they're not gonna be fine. And those are the reasons why they usually become chronic. You've been told that you have a partial tear uh, and it just doesn't look partial to you because you can tell there's something wrong. Seek out a second opinion. Uh, perhaps find someone in the university setting that is, has more experience with these tears and get it fixed be before it becomes real chronic and very fibrosis and it becomes a much harder situation to deal with. I'm Dr. Mora. I'm in Orange County. I'm a board certified with the exclusion. I've been doing pec tears for many years now. Feel free to reach out to me if you need some help with your tear. Yeah, I hope this uh, information helps. So you guys take care. Thanks.